Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I am talking about how to determine mouse action in WPF. So uh, first to add. Uh, today we will handling the window event. So first to add a window form in WPF. now add a window mouse binding event so window dot input binding window dot input binding mouse binding uh the mouse action what is the button of the mouse that is the left click and what is the command in mouse pointing event when we click on the left what is the command is generated behind the click event so command curly brackets binding masses command here message command is directly response to the uh, data context class that is the message command now generate the parameters uh, or you can say generate a message using parameters so command pa parameter is left click left single click okay that's it now add a class that is uh, first class is used to uh, message command and second class is used to my data context so here we use data context class equals to new my data context class my data context that's fine now add a public uh, specifier with the class name now use i command class that is available in system dot windows dot input namespace that is system dot windows dot input namespace i command is a class name masses command masses command equals to new uh, what is the um, class to use that is the masses msc command class so create a msc command class add a new item another class that is a msc command public
colon it's inherited from the i command class that is also available in system dot uh, windows dot input name space that is i command uh, in which we have two methods that is first one is execute and second one is can execute methods uh, can execute method returns uh, false and true value execute method in which we can add a message uh, the what is single parameter uh, that is object and parameter okay now generate a message box uh, message box class actually use in system dot windows namespace message box dot show parameters public bool can execute object parameter it returns true as well as false value so return true I command is also uh, take a single event uh, so the command here does not implement the interface so public event event handler can execute changed okay that's fine now msg command is prepared and the default constructor is called now message command use a public property so public uh, i command and the what is the property name is message command in the get you can return the msg command instance that's fine start these applications by changing the startup UI in app.sevel file yeah that's it can also uh, change the action command by changing the uh, action 
of the mouse action you can say the command is same you can also change the mouse action equals to left double click left double click and the message command is same for all the events because the same class is called behind the command property of the mouse binding that is a call my data context when the constructor is load and my data context class is now called to the msc command class that is here and msc command class is inherited from the i command class to return uh, the parameter that is a message box dot show so that is the information it's written by the command class that is left single click is it yeah it's a uh, actually it's a mutually exclusive so uh, remove the first line left click is clicked now save it and start it again left double click so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my video tutorials uh, do some other task like uh, wheel scroller so please keep watching my all the tutorials and learn more about programming languages like WPF, C Sharp, VB, ASP.NET and many more things so thank you thank you very much